Hey guys, 95 Pop Snaps here. I have this huge, huge box. Pretty sure it's got all my New York Comic Con Pops in it. Let's do this. Alrighty guys, so you saw that big package. This thing is massive. From my understanding though, I think I had another order with them and I do recall them reaching out and saying, hey, do you mind if we ship it in the same thing? Because it's pretty big. But they're all in there. I'm eager to dive into it. Fingers crossed we can get through it all in this video. But I'll do my best, so I won't keep you too long. But let's just dive into it. All right, so I kind of got my way through the box and this looks so well packed. So they've done something different, which I've never seen before. And like included these, like as space fillers. I think that's a really good idea because they're pretty sturdy. So well done Titan on that one. I am really impressed by that. They um, definitely go above and beyond with their packaging. So I really appreciate it. Titan are one of my go-tos. Uh, they ship in pot protectors. Communication with their customers is great. And yeah, they've also hooked us up with that 10% off your first purchase link. That'll be in the description. So hit up that. Um, wow. <laughs> Okay, yeah, sweet. So this does have some of my New York Comic Con stuff, some of my other order. Let's just go into the New York Comic Con stuff because that's the exciting stuff. Uh, what do we start with first? I'm really excited to have a look at this one. So we're going to go this one first. Oh, yes. First off, we have DC's very own Wonder Woman. Wow, guys. This is stunning. So there she is. She's a glow-in-the-dark pop. Wonder Woman from the new upcoming movie, Wonder Woman 84. Apparently releasing on Christmas Day, which nobody understands. But hey, if you're a Wonder Woman fan, that's a pretty cool Christmas present. But this do oh wow, this pop. This is dope. If this is a part of the movie, it looks like it's going to be a sick scene. You know me, I love my Thunderbolts. So this pop wins for me. I had to get it. She looks stunning. I cannot wait to take her out of the box and have a look. The lasso, the lightning, the metallic look on her outfit. So this is basically like a metallic glow in the dark pop. Insane. Absolutely insane. So well done Funko on this one. Hit the nail on the head with the details. She looks brilliant. She looks stunning. She looks powerful. Everything Wonder Woman represents, bam, in a pop. I will attach a photo right here of the epic photo that JT's Funko Finds posted of this with the glow. I believe she said she left it out, just getting soaking up those rays and then used the UV torch and that's how she got it to glow like this. Amazing. I absolutely love this pot. Back into the protector she goes so we can keep her nice and safe and I don't throw her into oblivion. But wow, I'm so glad I picked this one up. She has definitely been a hot seller from this con. I think I was quite surprised actually that she um, did this well, but it is an amazing pop. I didn't expect that many people to jump on it like they have, just because the Wonder Woman pops, the Wonder Woman 84 pops, haven't really done that well individually, like outside of this con, but a beautiful, beautiful pop. I understand why people wanted it. So that is awesome. What a start. All right, next up. Wow, they've even popped these in protectors. Nice, so we have our sodas, um, so that's in there, Envy Adams, you've seen that all before in my last video, so that is a really cool one, I'm just going to pop her at the back, like I said, you've seen that, I already grabbed one from Zing, and then of course we do have Spike Water Girl alongside it, so that's really cool, I'm pretty sure I'm only waiting for one more of each, so keep your eyes out on Instagram, I will announce when I'm doing the live, I'll probably mention it in a video as well, I'm not too sure when, but I want to get that live stream going because that'll be so much fun just to crack open all of the sodas. Like I said, I think I'm waiting for one more of each and then we're going. Alrighty, so the next pop I am seeing in here is one for Jen. I can't wait to show her this one. It looks to have come in great condition again in a pop protector. I've taken it out though. Yeah, this thing is mint and it is Robin Sparkles from How I Met Your Mother. The first How I Met Your Mother pop in our collection. What a pop. This thing looks amazing. I feel like Funko went and redeemed themselves big time after those first How I Met Your Mother drops. Because this pop is a lot of fun. It's got a lot of character. The box art really makes the pop pop even more. 
and I just think it's really, really fun. I love on the back that it said, let's go to the mall from the song. That's just, uh, yeah, I really love this Funko. Well done for what you've done with this one. I think it's a lot of fun, like I said, and the details on it look great. She's got the jewelry from the video, like it pretty much looks exactly like she did in the video clips and stuff like that. Uh, I love how they do the eyes with the like the mascara flicks. Looks amazing. Yeah, well done Funko. I really, really like this pop. I'm sure Jen will too. Next up, what have we got? Oh yeah, it's my boy. Oh, this is so cool. Finally, we have this character made into a pop. He's looking pretty good. Yeah, he's not too bad. But we have Danny Phantom. Finally! We've gone and gotten some more Nickelodeon Pops. This is so dope. Danny Phantom in the collection. Ha! Oh, this is the one I was probably most hyped for. Just because there yeah, we've waited so long. Like we, we always knew that Danny would look amazing in pop form. And he does. And we've got him. So there's Danny Phantom for you all. How cool has got him on the back there. God. The nostalgia is so real. Danny Phantom was a superhero to us, like, we're growing up watching Nickelodeon. That's so cool. It is an awesome one. I love the hair. I love the green eyes. I wish it was a glow-in-the-dark pop as well. But, gosh, this has provided so much potential for more Danny Phantom pops down the road. He looks amazing. The box, like I said, is in pretty decent condition. Would I want a box upgrade? Potentially. It's just a bit warped and rounded uh, on this side, which is a bit weird, but... No worries at all. Like I said, Titan shipping protectors, so therefore none of these are going to have crazy, crazy damage at all. It'll be just stuff that's come from Funko directly, uh, which is completely fine. That happens. So this is really awesome. These are not stacking too well, so we've got to be a bit careful here. Bam. All right. What is next? Um, oh, this next one. I feel so, so, so lucky to have picked this one up, guys. It sold out so quickly everywhere else, but I have one, and it is the one and only Kaguya from Naruto. Oh, this pop. It's me. got a bit of weight to it, but wow. This is so well done. The glams looked amazing, but yeah, in person, this thing is dope. So here she is. We got Kaguya in our hands. How sweet is that? Oh, this thing is so cool. An awesome one to add to my Naruto collection. Yeah, this is sweet. So lucky to have gotten it. Like I said, I think I only, yeah, I only got the one. Like, because I was trying to get at least doubles to help out some friends and stuff. But this was like the only one of the standard size pops that I wasn't able to get two of. So I'm feeling very blessed. Thank you to Titan for saving me on this one. And I've been able to get this thanks to them. So hats off to them. Thank you so much. Ah, so cool to add this one to the collection. She's amazing. I love the hair. I love that third eye. The little de details on the sleeves there. It's just, yeah, so cool. Everything about it. I wish they did maybe something more with the stand to incorporate, I don't know, something else like they have been doing with a lot of the anime pops. But you can't complain. Like, this thing is phenomenal. So, super stoked. Like I said, super lucky to have it. I am very, very grateful that I was a lucky one and was quick enough to pick it up. So there's three more things from NYCC in here and um, the rest was another order, so I'll unbox that another time. But these guys can come out together, of course. I was super, super stoked to get these. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, too hyped. We have Mermaid Man and Barney Cool Boy. Again, Funko have given us some more Nickelodeon joy and I've got these two guys in the collection. I'm going to quickly get them out of the protectors so we can have a better look. So first off, we have Mermaid Man here in the flesh. He is so cool. I am so glad Funko have done these. They're the characters we wanted and needed. So it is amazing to see them. Oh, this is sweet. I was hoping that they'd get released in a two-pack. But unfortunately, we got them individually, which isn't bad. Like, at the end of the day, I've got the pops. So not going to suck too much about that one. But Mermaid Man is here. He looks amazing. He's looking like his grumpy and proud old self. And yeah, I love it. The little point. It's just oh, and the facial expressions too. Wow. <laughs> I'm just noticing that. They look amazing. I love the, what they've done with the eyes, the eyebrows, and his little mouth there. That is amazing. 
I really hope one day we get SpongeBob and Patrick dressed as Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy and maybe even have the um in one of the episodes I know like they turn around the M and they, they say it stands for Bumbo or something like that <laughs> so I don't know that would be fun I hope we do see that down the track because I feel like that make some really cool pops and surely now that we've got Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy they could do that so let's quickly take a nice look at Barnacle Boy there he is I love what they've done here he's so 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 cool the details on it I don't know it's perfect I love the nose They've captured that so well. And yeah, he's just looking mopey and grumpy. He's always a big old grump. So yeah, I think they've done so well here. Like I said, I hope we see more Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy pops down the line, like themed ones, whether they do like the villain, or like I said, do the SpongeBob and Patrick dressed as them. I feel like that'd be a lot of fun. I would pick them up, so fingers crossed we see that. I'm really, really stoked to have gotten these. I feel like those two were ones I would be really devastated if I missed out on. Thankfully, I think uh, Mermaid Man is still quite available. So if you missed out on him, jump on your locals, jump on the big retailers. I'm sure they've got them. So yeah, I definitely recommend picking them up. They are really, really cool. And last but not least, we end on something big. And it has come really well packed. They did not want anything to happen to this. And I don't blame them. I'm very grateful, so fingers crossed it's come all good in the hood. Oh, I'm so nervous. I hate big pops because you just never know how they're going to arrive. How are we looking? This thing is mint. Carl and Allie in the flesh, the movie moment. Oh, my heart. This is so precious. This is so well done. I have no idea where I'm going to put this thing. But I had to get it. How could you not? It is so adorable. Oh, such, such an awesome part of the movie too. When they first move into the house and they're painting their picket fence and their mailbox. It is a phenomenal pop. I love what they did with it. I know a lot of people wanted it to be a, a like a two-pack kind of deal. Like, like the younger version of Carl and Ellie's that they brought out. But I really, really love this. I can't wait for the version that they bring out where they're older because I feel like that would be really sweet too but I'm very very happy with this one it is an amazing pop I feel very lucky again to have been able to pick it up and thank you Titan you've packed it so well and it's come in mint ha ah, too good too too good alrighty do y'all think we have time for another little bit of an NYCC opening I think so I'm too hyped I really want to dive into this one too so this little guy here comes from pops galore you know I love Pops Galore. They've done nothing but good things for me. I love them more than I love, I don't know, a lot of things. And I don't know what I would do without them. And I picked up two Pops from them as I was frantically shopping around. Oh, nice. We have a little coupon. I love coupons. What have we got? Let's have a look. Oh, hot damn. My mystery coupon is 15% off my next order. I'm going to take that. Thank you. I didn't even know they did that with their normal orders. That is really, really cool. All right, let's um, slide these little guys out. Try not to get the peanuts everywhere. I'm struggling. Well, we got lollies. What more could you want, hey? A discount, lollies, and pops. So I don't know if she had her usual note in there, but... As always, support Pops Galore if you can. They, I also have some discounts to hand out from them. So if you want a discount, if you want a 50% off shipping discount or a $5 off discount, hit me up. I'll help you out with that for sure. I only have a limited number of those, but if you're quick enough, you'll get one. But from them, I am super stoked because I've added to that Masters of the Universe line with these two babies. We have King Hiss and Ninja. These pop protectors are sturdy. Oh, damn. I am a big fan of this. But yes, we have King Ears and Ninja. Let's take a squeeze at these bad boys. So first off, this one was probably the one I was most excited about. It's King Hiss. He looks phenomenal. Exactly like the old school toys did. I know a lot of people were a bit confused because the glams of him looked like they were like different art. 
and it looks really really like dark and intense but this is exactly how I remember the figurine looking so this is an amazing touch I love the staff with the snake going around it his little shield everything about this pop it makes sense yeah like I said it reminds me of the figurine so I'm really really happy to have this one I love my green stuff I don't know why I just like green I like green arrow I like the green lantern so I don't know I really like this King Hiss I think he looks amazing so an awesome one to add to the collection for sure so Hanky Pops Claw it has come mint as the pop protector the pop protector is really good so that is amazing he's gonna go I don't know what I'm, I'm running out of space here he can live there for now <laughs> so of course we'll show off Ninja a little bit closer as well so there he is I was kind of disappointed that this was a con release I feel like if they released this as a kind of a common with a chase, it would have been dope. I do remember that with the Ninja figurines, you can always take off the mask or stuff like that, or they came in two variants. So it would have been really cool to have him as a common and then have a chase with it. But 100% okay with not. <laughs> um, I'll take this for sure because he looks really cool. Love the weaponry. Love what they've done with the eyes again. They made him look really, really intense. And it's added another layer of depth to the character and given some expression. So that one's really, really cool. I'm really happy with that one. I was super stoked to be able to pick these up from Pops Galore. I love shopping with them. I love the way they pack. I love what they do with the lollies. I got a coupon. Happy days. The protectors are top notch. So I was really happy to quickly jump on and try and find some stuff from them. I got these. Gay Ruler Collector was able to help me out and get me some sodas. They've been unboxed and like I said, we're not too far away from having them all in my hand to do that massive live stream. So, if you enjoyed this video, if you've stayed long enough to love and appreciate all these pops, chuck us a like, comment down below what, what was your favourite pop of this NYCC. I'm curious to know, for me, after seeing them all, I really love the Danny Phantom. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy were really exciting for me. And that Growlithe, I'm still in love with it. It's a Flox Pokemon, I know, but for some reason I just really, really adore it. So, yeah, I think they've got to be my favourites, but far out. These were such an amazing bunch of pops from this con. So, well done Funko. I'm 100% down for it. I hope you guys really enjoyed it too. I believe I should still have my pop culture stuff coming in, which will have all the exciting exclusives. So I'm keen to unbox those. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this one. Hit subscribe if you did so you can stay up to date with what I'm doing and be able to check out that live stream as well as that last order from pop culture of all my exclusives. So thank you so much for checking this one out. I appreciate everyone who takes the time of day to come and watch my videos and watch this head talk about stuff she loves. And remember guys, as the Wise Like Dragon says, never give up, good pops will find you. See ya.